After the death of Sir John, Lord Falworth decided it was no longer safe at his castle, so he and his family relocated to the village of Crosby Dale, where they lived for the next eight years. When Lord Falworth's son, Miles, turned sixteen, it was decided that he would leave to be trained as a squire by the Earl of Mackworth. We will pick up his story on his first day training as a squire. You call that a sword swing? I've seen better from my grandmother. I thought it was okay. Well then come take a swing at me. Are you sure? Are you a coward? Follow my orders. Okay. Again, you can do better. You'll do, kid. Dismissed, everyone. That was brilliant, Miles. No one's ever stood up to Sir James like that before. It, it was nothing. No, it was definitely something. I think you'll do well here, Miles. Every boy's life comes with great challenges and Miles' first challenge came during his time at Castle Devlin. Amongst the squires, there was a long-established custom that the younger squires would serve the older ones. This rankled on young Miles' sense of pride, and he vowed never to serve them. Little did he know his vow would be put to the test very soon. Miles, you and Gascoigne are responsible for pulling water for our bath tomorrow. Hold your temper, Miles. It wouldn't do to end your plan. He's quite a bit bigger than you. I don't care. I won't serve him. No, I will not pour water for your bath. None of us will ever pour water for your bath again. Really? I think we'll just have to teach you a lesson then. Three on one isn't a fair fight. Fight me man to man. Fine, man. I've gone over all the rules beforehand. I want a clean fight, all right? Now touch gloves and go back to your corners. And when you hear the bell, start fighting. He's not dead, just knocked out. You, take him to the infirmary. And you, come to my office. The boy's coming along well. He's beaten Blunt twice now, and Blunt is both bigger and older than he is. We should probably move Blunt out of the dogs, so this doesn't happen again. We can promote him to sentiment in reading. He will no longer interact with the squires. That sounds like a good idea. The last thing we need is the Miles to kill Blunt. When is the king coming for the ceremony? Not for a couple of months. It's good though we need the two. Time to prepare the boy. Make sure he's ready. Yes, sir. Months passed, and Miles' life grew to be routine. He no longer had blunt to worry about, and life was good. But one day his life was changed in a very unexpected way, and it all began with a game of soccer. Now Miles' decision to stay and talk to Lady Alice had far more import than he thought. Like everyone else, he knew it was forbidden to talk to the ladies and had heard of the harsh punishments inflicted on those who had. But to a young lad of sixteen, those concerns seemed relatively minor. Miles made many visits to Lady Alice over the next month and was never caught until the seventh one. Hey! What are you doing? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? 
I can study, don't you go Hey. No. I, I, I'm punish, I should punish you for this. But you won't. And why won't I? Because you need me, sir. I know the story of my father's betrayal. And I know of your future plans to restore him to his former place of power. You can't afford to punish me too harshly. <laughs> You're right. But I'm, all, I'm still wondering you to never talk. Yes. That's right, okay? I will never talk with Lady Alice again. Yeah, we don't have permission, okay? <laughs> Alright. See you later, dude. Month passed and the castle was greeted by the news that the king was coming for a visit. The earl used this as an excuse to have Miles knighted by the king himself, and to have him prove himself by jousting against the famed Sierre de la Montaigne. I dub you Sir Miles Falworth. Be thou a good knight. Finally. The day after the knighting, Miles was set to joust Sierra de la Montaigne. He held his own the first two passes and was determined to unseat his opponent. <laughs> after the defeat of Montaigne, Miles left to serve as a soldier in France with Sir George. After a couple years of service, he was recalled to England to present his family's grievances before the king and to challenge the Black Knight to a trial of combat to restore his family's honor. Who is this before me? I present to you Sir Miles Forward and his father Lord Forward. This name sounds familiar. Where is it from? They are traitors, my lord. You outlawed them and you became king. You lie. I am no traitor. You dare call me a liar? How do you back up these accusations? Trial by combat. You're an old man. I don't think you can fight. He can't. But I can. A boy fighting me? Not happen. Are you afraid? The duel was scheduled to commence in three months' time. Miles spent the time living with Prince Henry of Wales and training with him. The day of the duel arrived, and it seemed like everyone was there to watch. Are you sure you can do this? Yes, I'm sure I can be. That's the spirit. Remember, everything you worked on, I'm sure you'll do fine. survived his fight with the Black Knight. He recovered for several days, then returned to Castle Devlin, where he married Lady Alice. <laughs>
ceremony of holy matrimony. Sir Miles, would you take Lady Alice to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. And Lady Alice, would you take Sir Miles to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Yes, that's right.